okay so in the last video we left here we created a word cloud out of the we created word cloud out of whatsapp chats so next next we are doing is exploratory data analysis on these chats okay so it is very obvious to do exploratory data analysis by asking good questions so what are some questions that we can ask from this data set so let's see what this data set is new df dot head <coughs> mm -hmm. okay so that's what we have uh, if I miss something and you want to know what is happening and how I did something please let me know okay so this is our data set what questions can we ask first of all we can ask yes how much message did you send means this and how much the other person this superhero sent so we can do this by pandas method we'll say with this in this new data frame new data frame in this sender column what are the value counts so this so Shaktiman sent 15,800 message and I sent 10,000 <laughs> okay hope she's not watching this then next what I did is we are I am using ggplot style and then I am creating a bar chart out of this so that's it this is looking good and if I want to see what I did in this script is I converted this bar chart not this converted this bar chart but created converted this these values I converted this into a percentage value how much percentage why 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 is it not showing okay so 60% my contribution is 40% and her contribution is 60% ok hmm so now scale is changed now this is percentage value you can label it by uh, I don't need to do that ok so next question checking data types of the columns yes or are the uh, all columns are objects and so we know we ok this column is date and what if we want to convert it into a date time column so we'll do this we'll convert it into a date time column so we for I wanted to test it so I can created a new data frame and <coughs> this date time I applied so this is a method by which we can convert the column into a date time format so pd dot to date time and the column we want to convert to a date time and the format and what is the format we have we have month and a slash date slash and year here month date and year so the problem was the year is not given fully so this is only 19 this is not 2019 it should be 2019 to be converted so there was formatting error so what I did was I used this method I applied I converted and I added 202 this uh, date date column okay hmm let's see how it looks test dot head so now it is converted into a date time so now we can access values like this from test dot we can say test dot date I love we want first column any first row okay if you want first row every column 
we only want first okay so this is the timestamp if we want we can access date like this why okay maybe what I am doing wrong how to access it how to access it where it is <coughs> forget it <laughs> uh, maybe I'll try that later why I'm not getting it now why is the, what is the problem okay so how many messages on particular date or month if you want to so next question is this uh, suppose I want to say in the February on the second day of February so what what messages were sent what messages were ex uh, exchanged so we'll do it like this on the test date dt dot month so that's how we access it so I'm not sure why there was a problem anyways so here it is on the 2nd February these messages were sent I'm only showing uh, last five messages okay another question searching specific messages by keyword okay so if you want to search a specific message if you know uh, if you want to search okay so I said cricket on that day and you basically you want to find message containing some keyword so you will you will do it like this okay you are new data from dot message dot string dot contains this is the method how you can if you are declaring it like this it will even if it is between uh, okay let's show you this what I mean okay so even if cricket in any even if there is no proper word cricket in this line there is cricket okay so now you know what I'm talking about uh, so cricket <laughs> my English is dead okay so that's it for today's tutorial uh, 